My name is Dave Cohen, and we're going to spend about 15 minutes or so and try to educate you, inform you, entertain you, and possibly make you the winner of the C2770 Scaler. Let's talk a little bit about the C2770 and the people so far who have used it and reviewed it, and they've had some interesting things to say. They've called it the Swiss Army Knife of video converters. Others call it the anything in, anything out box. And still others say it's DC to light capable. Now they all seem to think that inside our box is some magician or some genie or something mysterious going on that makes all of this possible. But I'm actually here to dispel that myth. There are no smoke and mirrors inside that little box. All we have is 15 years of just solid engineering. So why are people so excited about the C2770? Because of all the features. It is a universal scaler, a standards and a scan converter, SDTV to HDTV scaler, TBC and frame synchronizer, a chroma and luma keyer, and we go on. It's a logo inserter, it does seamless switching, it can up and down convert, video transcoder, PC to HDTV scaler, PC to PC scaler, also picture in picture. This is one of the neat features We'll be going into uh, a little bit later on in our presentation. It does multi-format Genlock. It's an aspect ratio converter. It has SDI capability with a C2775, and on and on and on it goes. This is how it looks, the C2770 Universal Scaler, and we're going to take a little look at the hardware, and then we'll be able to take it out on the test drive, and you'll be able to get your hands on it as well. You can control the C2770 Universal Scaler in one of three ways. Via the control panel you're looking at now, or with the Windows-based RS-232 interface, which Kevin will be operating throughout the course of our demonstration, or you can even operate it through a web connection with an internet or intranet. You're looking at the front panel, which consists of the LCD display, the rotary encoder knob in the center, and the programmable inputs on the right. Now, not only are those inputs able to select the input, but you'll see how you can change the uh, image characteristics as well. Our C2770 Universal Scaler has system and input parameters that can be stored and accessed quite easily. Now, we use a drill-down menu structure. It is not a very deep drill-down menu structure. And by that, I mean you go down to one sub-menu, and then it's horizontal, so you can access what you need to without having to keep drilling down, drilling down, drilling down. For instance, if you go to the setup program source, one level down, and you don't like the way the image looks on the screen at the top of the picture, you can adjust it at the pixel level. So even though you don't have to drill down very far, it's very powerful, and it's right in front of you. And you're never more than one sub-menu away from the main master. Each input, by the way, also has its own assignable proc amp, and that's another way in which you can uh, make modifications to the signal that you're going to display. And when you're all done making your modifications or changes or tweaks, then you can store it in the non-volatile memory of the C2770. But I guess some people just don't like cranking the knobs and doing the fine adjustments and pushing all the buttons. So for those of you who prefer a Windows-based RS-232 utility, there's one available. And you don't have to go out and buy it. You don't have to download it. It comes with the product. It doesn't cost you anything else. This uh, RS-232 utility will allow you to do all the modifications. Plus, as we'll see in a couple of minutes, it also has the added capability of a keystroke recorder. So you can create some macros that will have stored up moves, cuts, wipes, fades, well, not whites, cuts and fades, and picture-in-picture uh, and, picture and zoom capability. And so you can kind of kick back and hit one button and be on cruise control if you're doing a, a, a one-person demonstration. So that's a feature that comes up with the RS-232 utility. Now, the C2770 Universal Scaler, we said it's the Swiss Army knife of video converters. Let's look at some of the features that it has. It easily converts between composite video, S-video, YCBCR, and YPBPR, or RGB. It also can up convert, down convert, convert PC resolutions, and convert HDTV formats. In terms of world use, international use, it converts between world standards, and this is a feature that's very significant. We use a complex motion compensation, which will virtually eliminate any of the artifacts that you might get on a competitor's product when you try to switch from, uh, convert from one format to another format. What makes all this happen? Well, 
It's our Corio 2 processing. But before we get to that, I want to show you something else that we can do. It's the macro feature. It is the keystroke recorder. You invoke the keystroke recorder, and you can save a series of commands. You can put in your zooms, your picture-in-picture. Picture. You can put in your cuts. You can put in your fades. You can put a multiple of those in, and then you kind of have it in the cruise control mode. And if you're doing a, a one-person presentation like this and you want to really focus in on the people in the audience, as I'm doing now, and make eye contact with several of you, well, you can do that because you're going to push one button and let it fly. And that's what Kevin is going to do right now. And here's a series of moves that he has programmed in. You see he has his hands off the controls. Folks, we're flying in the keystroke recorder macro mode. And he has stored up to uh, 22 different moves inside of this keystroke macro. Again, it's all because of the Choreo 2 technology. How do we get the name Choreo 2? From Choreography 2 Video. So we have the name Choreo 2. Definitely the most advanced technology available today for the manipulation of images and formats. And let me tell you what Choreo 2 is not, and then tell you exactly what it is. It is not relying on chips and a chipset from a third-party manufacturer. No reliance on that. It doesn't use ASICs. What Choreo 2 technology is, is a proprietary video processing engine. It is dynamically reprogrammable firmware. Tough for me to say, easy and adaptable for you to use. And the engineers and the designers at Corio 2 are constantly working on new applications and new ways to use this technology. So if they come up with something new and you already own the Corio 2 and the C2770, well, all you've got to do is go to the Corio 2 website and download it. And in a matter of seconds, it's in the flash memory of your C2770. So while you have a, a very advanced piece of uh, equipment right now to use for the present, you also have the knowledge that you own a passport to the future. Whatever Corio 2 comes up with, you have access to it simply by downloading it. So we can't say that about our competitors. With their products, what you see is what you get for the here and now. But with Corio 2, you know that you have the passport to the future. And don't forget, everything, all the upgrades, all the firmware downloads, they are absolutely free. Again, the features of our C2770, universal scaler, a standards and scan converter, standard definition TV to high definition TV, TBC frame sync, chroma and luma keyer. You can do logo insertion, seamless switching, up and down converting. It's a video transcoder. It does PC to HD TV scaling, PC to PC scaling, picture in picture, multi-format gen lock, aspect ratio converter, the added power of SDI with a C2775, and on and on and on we go. We think, we believe, we know that C2770 is the new benchmark for video image products. Our competitors have imitated it. They have not equaled it. However, they still strive to reach the gold standard that we've committed. Without a doubt, nothing else on the market comes close.